Hey guys, hello and welcome back. As always, my name is Lazar, and today we got a bit of gameplay, some Plague Star event. I did a couple of runs with the guys in the clan, and I want to show them off to you guys just to break up the pace of the regular content. Now, I played this guy, Atlas. I discovered him recently. I farmed him, and to be honest, I've been enjoying my time greatly. This is an outstanding frame, and I'm just going to quickly highlight you exactly what I used in the Plague Star event. First of all, the primary weapon of choice would be the Prisma Gorgon. This is just me. What you want is a fast firing weapon that doesn't deal like a truck ton of damage because there is a cap on how much damage per hit the Hemocyte can take. This is a straight corrosive setup because if you fully remove the armor from the Hemocyte, if you remove the infested sinew, what is left is vulnerable to corrosive damage. So no 60s, I went straight for a 90 setup and you can fully remove the armor from the Hemocyte with something like an Oberon for example in just a couple of seconds and it's done. The Riven that I'm using is critical damage, critical chance electricity, minus impact, Mwah! this is absolutely outstanding and if you want to see a full review on the Prisma Gorgon, link in the cards right now. As you will see in the footage it worked quite nicely. Next, Atlas is health and his weapon, well a stat stick weapon mostly. Now the build I chose to go for Atlas, this is still mostly a work in progress, but I chose a bit of a balanced approach. I don't want to tank my duration just for the sake of more power strength and I'll explain exactly what I mean. Again, this is just a quick overview. Steel charge on Atlas for his punches is absolutely amazing. Cunning drift and armored agility might seem like a couple of odd choices, but again, the primary source of damage when it comes to Atlas is from his punches. The problem with Atlas is that his mobility is a tad low. It's kind of slow to get from one target to the other. So therefore, armored agility will give me a little bit of sprint speed, even with 15%. I only got 1.03. And 45% armor is a big deal because Atlas by default does have 450 armor. So that's a considerable amount. As for Cunning Drift, I'm a, the kind of player that prefers to slide all over the place. So this is the primary reason also the ability range will help with my free ability the stone gaze as well as with the radius on his punch when you punch somebody with atlas you make kind of like a frontal cone aoe so range will help with that as well as stretch of course for range so stretch and cunning drift that's plenty range these for the most part are option mods i simply enjoy using atlas with these things on you do need a little bit of efficiency on mostly every frame not all frames but most of them so streamline 30 percent ability efficiency and this is a half ombre fight setup with intensify and vitality now because i'm using two of these i get all the survivability i need from uh umbra vitality and armored agility and intensify will give me 55 percent ability strength if i was to slap on umbro fiber that will give me a lot more well a bit more but it's not really needed on atlas and to be honest i recommend against it at least in his case i guess you would use that survivability if you guys want to stand a couple of hours into a defense or a survival but to be honest that is kind of boring and i don't really do it so there you go more ability strength with uh, Augur Secrets and Transient Fortitude, 55% and 24% respectively. The problem with Transient Fortitude is that it nukes your duration. However, that's nothing Prime Continuity cannot handle. I don't want to fully nuke my duration and invest all my resources into a single ability. Currently, Atlas is being played mostly for his punches. That's what most people do. And you can get even more damage out of the punches if you choose to nuke the Warframe. In the sense that you can go for Blind Rage which destroys your efficiency, then again you cannot punch, but you can counteract that with fleeting expertise. However, that will lead to, uh, lead to you completely destroying your duration. That means you don't get a lot of use out of your rumblers, and they are absolutely awesome, and uh, your stone gaze won't really last for that long either. I don't recommend it. I'm the kind of player, at least for Atlas, I want to have access to the whole package. Now this setup is pretty power hungry and it's only made possible because of Arcane Energizer free. I'm sorry, I know, yes this one is hella expensive, currently on PC 2000 300, 2400 plat DR free. Now, if you don't have Arcane Energize, then you can simply swap in Hunter, Adrenaline, or Rage, and that's how you're gonna be getting your energy back. There is also something to be said about the Prime Flow, but in the case of Atlas, with a setup such as mine, I don't really need it. The second Arcane, once again, is your option Arcane Avenger, because as we talked about earlier, uh, the critical chance and the status chance of Atlas's punches are 5% each. So with Avenger, my crit chance goes to 35%. On damage, 30% critical chance for 8 seconds. This one is pretty potent. If you are having trouble surviving, then of course Guardian is another smart option. What you can also use is a bit of fire rate for your weapon. In the case of the Hemocyte, of course, 
you can use something like Arcane Rage. Uh, this one is for damage and for fire rate you can use Acceleration. There we go, Arcane Acceleration with Arcane Rage if you want to fully invest into your weapon. But for Atlas, Energize and Avenger will work absolutely beautifully. Let's talk about the weapon because you do gotta set up a weapon for Atlas's uh, punches. This one will work in the same way that the old Exalted weapons used to work. If you guys understand that, if not, let me give you once again a quick overview. Again, the build is not made for me to use the Arca Titron. This is only a stat stick for Atlas, so the stance doesn't really matter. I'm using this Riven right here because it has melee damage and impact. Atlas's punches by default do 350 impact and that's it, that's all they do. Critical chance 5%, status chance 5%, so you can't really play into percentage base increases of the critical chance or the status chance. Impact mods actually work on this one, it's the first time that I actually felt the need for... What is it called? Heavy Trauma, I believe? Yes, there is a Prime version to Heavy Trauma, and in the case of building a weapon for Atlas, that would actually prove worthwhile. Since I don't have it, I'm using, using Collision Force. Body count for increased combo duration. Keep in mind that the combo counter will count towards increasing the damage of your punches, and of course you want more combo duration so it doesn't slip off too easily. So slap on as much damage as you can, Prime Pressure Point, Spoil Strike, and as much Elemental as you can. As you can see, I'm using Prime Fever Strike, together with Shocking Touch, and Molten Impact, and of course Collision Force, because again, all the damage on uh, Atlas's Punch is Impact, so Collision Force in this specific circumstance will work a tad better than me adding something like, I don't know, let's say I would add North Wind. If I do that, then I'm creating Blast on Atlas's Punches, so that's not something I'm looking forward to. Nothing you do in terms of mods affects the speed of Atlas's punches, so you can slap on Fury, Prime Fury or whatever else, the speed of the punches remains constant, whether they be positive or negative effects. For example, Spoiled Strike's negative becomes completely nullified, it doesn't affect the speed of Atlas's punches. I also tried, of course, Natural Talent and Speed Drift for the Warframe, but also that had zero effect on the speed of the punches, so keep that one in mind as well. And you're probably thinking Blood Rush, that would be awesome, right? Yes, it would be awesome, unfortunately it does not work. None of the Aqualite mods work for a stat stick on Atlas. It works kinda kooky, again, Atlas's punch ability and what it takes from the melee weapon is a tad confusing. Keep in mind that Rivens do apply, so the stat it will pick up the stats from the Riven. In this case in particular, the critical chance on a slide is completely worthless, so keep that one in mind. Alright, that's it for a very brief overview of what I used, let's move on to gameplay, I hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you in the next one. I'll go get the thing guys, since I'm the host, I should be getting it because I load in first, theoretically at least, so I'm gonna go get the poison, and you guys just hover around, wait until we get the waypoint for the mixer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kill the boy, kill the boy, I cannot kill the boy if you do not open the door. Oh, Pantador. Oh, Pantador. There we go. <laughs> so what are you? Eh, so much for my energy. Oh, please tell me it's not one of those deep ones. Is it one of those deep ones? Oh, it might be one of those deep ones. It's, no, it's the one you had last time. The one I had last time? Yeah, it's a deep one. This is actually some kind of super cool tile set because there's basically like an under earth cave thing but you get to see the sky so it's not like a cave but then again you can't fly out of Cetus like you would to Cetus like you would so it's kind of weird because initially the first time I came across this thing I tried to fly out as soon as I grabbed the thing yeah, and of course too. that did not work Never mind my waypoint, I just put it there to remember exactly which way to get out. Yes, and uh, the mixer will be on the other side of the map. I love this place, it looks so cool. Okay, actually I don't need my waypoint anymore. Alright, I'm on my way back guys. Got the thingy. Waiting for the waypoint. So much clicky clicky. Alright, I'm out. We should be getting the waypoint now. There we go. On my way. 
damn, it's on the other side of the bloody map. Like I said. Thank God for Hyperion thrusters, well, otherwise this would have taken forever. Mm. I need so. Ah, you guys even opened up the door for me. Thank you. All right, it's in. All right, now you boys have fun. I'm gonna go mine. See ya. It's gonna take me a bit longer. Da, 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 da. Oh, look, infested. What are you guys doing in this here cave? This is a grenier. Oh, blue. I found a blue one. Damn it, only the VOD. I'm loving Atlas, man. I wish I, I farmed him earlier because he's so much fun. And I'm not talking like just about a punch build, like more of a balance build so you can get some use out of your other abilities as well. Not, not completely nuke your duration. I am really am having a lot of fun on him. Sober, did you build him? Mm -hmm. I don't see you playing him a lot of time and he seems like such a you kind of frame. <laughs> you require some help with your Renato's quest because we'd be glad, glad to help you with that one deal. Yeah, I need to do that too. That's I need to do it too. How about we do it together, huh? Because I still haven't farmed the yet. There are only three okay. with you need to kill one of three. So to say five times one of Bursas uh, or Manik or uh, Juggernaut. Oh, but that doesn't sound too difficult. No. It's not. I mean, manics are a bit annoying, so to juggernauts or bursas, but killing is not a problem. Well, we killed few juggernauts when we went to Nilgar, but <laughs> didn't complete it. I have ah, the blueprint Nilgar. and Nilgar, yeah. Oh, you mean I still that? have nightmares from that mission. Stick it in, stick it in. Stick it in the boil. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> no, Jiko. I'm just quoting what he said. No, why'd you do that, Jiko? I want more Dargan to punch, though. That was quite enjoyable. One punch Dargan. One punch Dargo. Uh, there's some Kondrox, but no Dargan. Punch Kondrox. Punch Kondrox? Uh, they're a little bit too high up to punch a Kondrox. Jason. Do it! Look! No, 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 Jikoni, not this time! You ain't getting a Dargan for yourself. <laughs> no! Oh, look, there they No, don't shoot! I wanted to point. <laughs> That's revenge, isn't it? That's revenge. How you did that totally me? on purpose, didn't you? Didn't I don't you? even reach him. Oh, a Dargan, a Dargan, a Dargan, I'm going for it. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, punch right out of the sky, baby! Okay. Get ready to stump Where like a champion, it? like a champion. We got a reaction, boys. This is it. Oh yeah. Looking at green. Destroyed. Going yellow. Destroy. Blue. Destroy. Make sure to pick up the Hemocyte Systolid so we can make that thing in the clan. We make it nice, big, and golden. You got a reaction again, really quick. Good job, guys. Could have brought Zenistar, I just realized. <laughs> All right, feel looking at green. I'm green with envy. Green is down. Yeller. Wait, what? Reload. Crap. Bad timing. Yeller is down. Blue's down. Excellent job, gentlemen. Excellent. You boys are OP. Too strong. Nerf you.
captured a hemocyte to deal with the toxin threat. Destroy it. We got a reaction. Green is down. Yellow is not down. Open now. There we go. Yellow is down. Looking at blue. You blue is down. So far so good. Another one is coming. Last one. In position. Green is down. Yellow's down. Last one is down. Ah, under 12 minutes. Not bad, not bad. Gladiator for Ness, too. Nice. What does that do again? I don't remember ever using that mod. Uh, I think it's uh, lesser quick thinking. Radiator finesse. Let's see what does this one do. Uh, drains energy to stop lethal damage with 60% uh, efficiency. So it's a form of that mod that you like, Jigwon. Quick thinking. Quick thinking, mm -hmm. yeah. And well, that's pretty much it. What do you guys think? You liked it? I enjoy the Plague Star event as long as you don't overdo it and I know you want to overdo it because you want your Plague Krapaf, your Sacrifice mod and so on and so forth. Also this is a good opportunity to get some Forma in exchange for some standing. A lot of good rewards from the Plague Star event. As you can see a lot of my guys are doing it. We also have a trophy behind us. This is the golden one. And you can place this one in your dojo using the Hemocyte Systolid. Let me go quickly into decorations. There we go. So you guys can see exactly how this one works. Go to decorations and you contribute like so. To make the golden one, you're gonna need 1000 Hemocyte Sister Lift. Now, there's several tiers to this one. There's a silver one, a bronze one, and I think a stone one or something like that and all of them require different amounts of hemocyte system so you can have a nice little trophy with only 100 in any case i love playing atlas i think he's an absolute blast and i highly recommend you guys give him a go as always my name is blazar thank you guys so much for watching like favorite share and subscribe if you enjoy the content and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye guys bye bye